I am Slick Nick, your personal certified Enneagram coach. In this little mini series, I want to explore the concept of what would be the Enneagram with the wing for each of the political parties here in the United States. So I've already done a video on Republicans, now I'm gonna do one on Democrats. And please know, I'm not a Republican and I'm not a Democrat, I'm not even a Libertarian. I identify as a centrist, completely neutral. So I feel like my perspective on this is a pretty good one because yeah, I'm a certified Enneagram coach and I'm neutral when it comes to this. So if you haven't checked out the Republican video, definitely do that. It's the complete opposite of this one as far as we're looking at the Enneagram perspective. So here's what I'm going to say would be the general Democratic Enneagram. And please leave your comment. If I'm wrong, I want to know. I want to become a better person because I'm an Enneagram 7, so I'm always about self-improving. So if I'm wrong, please tell me what, what would be the Enneagram of the Democratic Party. I say Enneagram 4 with the five wing. And now I'll explain myself. So Enneagram 4, they are the individualists. They want to feel special. They're creative. They're artistic. There's so many great things about Enneagram 4s. The downside of that, though, is they can be very much focused on themselves and because they want to be seen as special. And if they're not seen as special, it kind of consumes them a bit. So when you look at the Democratic Party compared to the Republican Party, what you're going to see is the Democratic Party, what they do better than the Republicans, is that they celebrate the marginalized in society. So anyone who falls in the category of minority, anybody who falls in the category of someone who may be bullied or left behind in some, some way in society, the Democratic Party, their focus is on those underrepresented groups. And they celebrate that. And they celebrate that individuality. And I would say to their detriment right now, what we see with the, with the Democratic Party is it appears that the Republicans are having more fun. Why? Because cancel, cancer, cancer, cancel culture, cancel culture, it's so hard to say, is being assigned to the, to the Democrats. And we get what they're trying to do. They're trying to make it to where people are not marginalized, made fun of and abused and bullied and all this stuff. But a little bit overkill situation means that it seems like they're not having as much fun. And I think that's the downside. Now, keep this is the way I look at it as a centrist in this situation, not a Democrat, not a Republican. Both sides are right and both sides are wrong and both sides are equal. If they weren't, they wouldn't be equally popular. That's the way I look at it. Whereas the Republicans care less about the marginalized and care less about people's feelings, the Democrats absolutely do. And that's a big part of what they're all about. But why do I give them the five wing? And here's, what, here's where I'm coming from on that. I do feel that Democrats try, they try to be as balanced as they can. They try, despite needing to feel special and represent everybody, but that's also part of what they're trying to do. They're trying to keep things as equal as possible, and that's where I see that five in there. So they do care about that, but what offset it is how they need to, when you're focusing so much on being special and the underrepresented, that actually keeps things a little bit imbalanced to where uh, there's not as, because of that, we also have to put more attention on the governance, government itself. Where Republicans are more hands off when it comes to government, no, let me make my own decisions. By default, Democrats give more power and authority to the government saying, take care of me, take care of all of us government. And that's, I'd say largely the difference between Republicans and, and, and Democrats is do I want to give that authority and power to the government or do I want it for myself? So I definitely feel that when we look at Democrats, we're seeing largely what we're seeing is Enneagram 4 with that five wing. I could be wrong and it's okay. I want to be wrong. I'm an Enneagram 7. I want to be wrong so that I can become a better person and see the world in a better balanced number five kind of way because that's my growth personality as a five. Tell me how I'm wrong. If it's not four wing five, what would the Democratic Party be? Your comment belongs right here.